Hi everyone, my name is KG and I'm here with another video. Thanks again for tuning in. Until South Africans are angry enough not to just highlight the corruption of the ANC on social media, but to actually take action against it through votes and mass protests, SA will continue to deteriorate. The ANC has gotten away with this for almost two decades because the public has not displayed enough anger and outcry through their actions. The apartheid regime was unjust and everyone knew that, but it survived for 48 years. When the people reached the peak of their anger, radical action against the regime began. Mass protests in various parts of the country began. Even though it took years for the regime to be ultimately abolished, the wheel started turning when the people took action which culminated from them reaching the breaking point of their tolerance. ANC or any other political institution will not transform the country. It is the people that have the real power to do that. The ANC elite will no doubt defend their privileged position, even if they know full well that their party has damaged this country. Their spokesperson will continue to run propaganda campaigns on social media to defend the undefendable because that is what he gets paid to do. Ignorant South Africans will unfortunately fall for the bullshit propaganda and continue to defend the gangsters in Prada suits. It does indeed seem like the devil wears Prada. To defend injustice is a modus operandi of every corrupt regime. That is exactly what the apartheid government did. They knew that their system was unjust, but they defended it with all they had because it had too many benefits for them. We have a bunch of old people who lack innovation holding on to power, much to the detriment of the poor because the status quo which is destroying the lives of ordinary South Africans is beneficial to them. This is why the activism needs to come from the people because it is the people who are affected the most by this criminality and theft of industrial proportions. Cyril and his cronies are sorted economically, and the looting by his fellow cadres does not directly affect his own livelihood. You cannot really help people whose social conditions and circumstances you can't relate with. For example, what happens in their own homes when the power outages hit? They turn on state-of-the-art silent generators or they move to other houses where there, there is power. They have grown extremely ignorant and unbothered because we have given them this absolute power. And we have further failed to hold them accountable. No one can change a particular pattern until they are truly fed up with it.